name is Miley and welcome back to Psych2Go. On today's video, I'm going to be talking about video games and how they have an effect on people who play them. There are increasingly more stories concerning gun violence, and many people feel that video games are partly to blame for this because they have a bad influence on gamers, especially young teenagers who play on the regular. Games such as Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, and Halo depict blatant acts of violence and aggression using guns and other weapons. Even though these types of games only belong to a certain genre of gaming, many people clump these games together with all genres and assume that all video games are violent, which is not the case. There are many types of games that have benefits to its players, including those with exercise-oriented gameplay, also known as Exer Games, which have been shown to increase responsiveness and attention span, and also provide the benefits of exercise. Games such as Dance Dance Revolution, Wii Fit, and Zumba are great activities when you want to become more active. Children with autism also tend to be more relaxed and focused when playing video games because they are given an enjoyable activity that also requires concentration. Many parents with autistic children ages 8 to 12 tend to say that their children are more controllable when they're exposed to video games on a frequent basis. A study was conducted that measured the cortical thickness of a student's brain after playing video games for a week. The cortical thickness roughly correlates with the range of cognitive abilities a person has, including working memory, abstract thinking, and decision making. The results of the study showed that students who played video games on a weekly basis had an increased cortical thickness when compared to those who didn't. Now in my personal opinion, I find video games to be very stress relieving and can distract people from everyday problems that they may have. Some strategy games can even help improve problem solving skills and overall concentration. Although different video games have different effects on different people, just because a game is violent doesn't mean that the child playing it will become violent in the future. I don't remember playing Super Smash Brothers and thinking, man, I really want to whack all my friends over the head with a hammer. And if a parent is concerned about their children playing violent video games, then it is their job to know what kind of games they're allowing their children to play. And if your child is 10 years old, maybe it's not the best idea to buy them an M-rated game. Now I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you play video games? Did they scar your childhood? Do you think that they're harmful or helpful to a person's mental health? Let me know in the comments below. My name is Miley and I will see you all next time.